My primary focus is on racial disparities in the criminal justice system as well as in the juvenile justice system. I also focus on the treatment of women in prisons as well as the impacts of the war on drugs on poor communities of color. One way I would say that my scholarship affects my teaching has to do with uh, the depth of my knowledge um, in the subject area. And so because I'm able to go deeper um, in terms of my scholarly research and the people that I interact with out in the community, politicians, lawmakers, community members, I'm able to bring uh, that sense of knowledge and expertise into the classroom, whether it be um, in sharing articles that I've written, blogs, PowerPoint presentations um, that I've presented in different places around the Twin Cities, that plays a role in the classroom because the students are able to absorb that information and apply it in their clinic work. Well, I think that there are at least three key linkages between um, clinical legal education and employment. The first being um, the importance of effective writing skills. And so one of the things that we teach in the clinic um, is um, students really expanding the scope of their writing. So going from being able to write memos to briefs to letters to pieces of advocacy to a variety of different audiences. So that's extremely important. Uh, the second piece would be um, oral advocacy skills. And so students have a variety of opportunities to practice their oral advocacy, whether they're appearing before a judge um, or a legislative body, for example, or even conducting a meeting in the community. Those types of experiences help to expand the scope um, of a student's skills um, with regard to oral advocacy. And I would say um, the third important piece uh, that students focus on um, in clinical legal education has to do with learning to be strong advocates. I love the University of St. Thomas Law School. Um, it has been a fantastic place to really focus on uh, being an engineer of social change as well as incorporating my beliefs as a person of faith into the work that I do. And to see all of these things come together in a classroom setting is really inspiring. And so our students come from a range of different backgrounds. You know, some are people of faith, some have no faith at all, some are struggling in terms of their faith identity, and that's okay. And so um, in a classroom setting, we talk about these things and we talk about what does it mean to be an effective lawyer? What does it mean to be a person of faith who is going into the practice of law? What are our duties, our responsibilities, and then how does that translate um, into the type of lawyer that we become? I think there are a variety of things that make our students distinctive. One, they're intellectually curious. And so many of our students, rather than just accepting the first answer, they will dig a little bit deeper to find out if there's more to a particular issue or a particular story that meets the eye. I really appreciate that about our students because I think it's going to um, ensure that they're successful in the practice of law. Um, the other thing that I would say um, that makes our students unique is the fact that they're comfortable usually talking about who they are as a person of faith and how that translates into who they'll become as an attorney in terms of um, identifying what are their values what drives them? What is the motivating force behind the work that they do, more so than just a paycheck? But are they focused on what benefits the common good? So I think these are the ingredients that make for um, a successful attorney. And that's what our students are going to bring to the practice of law. I have so many rewarding moments. Um, it's, it's hard to, to pick one. Um, but I would say um, one of the most rewarding moments happened just this past spring um, when we successfully launched uh, Brotherhood Inc., which is a nonprofit organization focused on young African-American males. What made um, the launching of Brotherhood Inc. so important was the fact that our students played a vital role in the creation of Brotherhood Inc., in helping Brotherhood Inc. to become a nonprofit organization, engaging in fundraising, legal research, 
advising the board. I mean, the list goes on and on in terms of the contribution of our law students. And now they've been able to create something that's going to have a lasting impact um, on young African-American males as well as the community at large. Mm -hmm.